Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mies New Media tutorial, we're going to be learning a simple trick in Premiere Pro that will save you tons of time. This is one of those things whenever I watch other people using Premiere, it just makes me cringe when I see them not doing it because it's like, oh, you're wasting so much time and effort and you could be making your life so much easier and working so much faster, but you're not. Why do you do this? So now I'm going to put a tutorial up on the internet so no one has any excuses not to be doing it. So we're going to jump to Premiere and you see I've got a couple sequences queued up right now. These are some tutorials that have already come out. You can see some editing goes into them, but annotations up on screen for them now if you want to go watch them. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be queuing these renders. So what that means is instead of like traditionally you would hit control M and then you go to output your video and you would hit export and then a screen comes up or I'll just show you. This thing comes up and you can't do anything else in Premiere during that time. Awful, terrible, why do you do that to yourself? What you can do instead is queue these renders so it can be outputting inside of Media Encoder instead of kind of tying up your Premiere. So let me just go and output this. This is a cross process look. So just gonna drop this in here. Save that as that and then hit Q. And then this opens up Adobe Media Encoder and put your project right there. And you can of course, you know, still change settings and stuff inside of here. So if you wanted to rename this to, you know, cross process tutorial, you could hit OK. And then you can start this rendering and see it's rendering now. You can go over to another one and you could either still be working on this or, you know, once you finish it up and your other render is still in there, you can go and just hit Q again and see while this render is rendering, you just adds it in line and you're good to go. This is really great, especially for like, uh, concerts, you can have your multicam edit going and you can export your songs as you get them and then just be kind of turning them out and still keep on editing. And it's super great, uh, especially for people who edit, you know, more than one video a day, like I'm sure many of you do. This is just a really great thing to do. So you just hit control M and hit Q. And then also you can have, you know, big long lists. Like I had one project that ended up having like 80 renders in it. And you can just kind of have those queuing as you're working and then you work so much faster. And then if you're done, you don't have to wait and be like, oh, I got to wait for this one to render and then be around to make the other one render so I can be going as fast as possible. No, you can know that once your last render is queued, you can go out and you can have a sandwich or take a nap or watch a movie. You can do whatever you want. And it's super great. So everyone should be queuing their renders. If you're not, then I don't see why you hate your life that much. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't, be sure to give it a dislike. If you've got slightly more complicated feelings than that, be sure to leave them in the comments below. If you want to stay up to date on Mies New Media's happenings, be sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook, links for which are in the description. If you want to see more awesome tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mies New Media YouTube channel. It's free. If you can get the word out about how people are wasting their time by not queuing their renders, be sure to share the tutorial. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.